What's up guys? It's Shining Polaris. I just came home from a very long weekend in Jacksonville, Florida for you know what. I went to Devil or Nothing and it was probably, and I may be biased, probably like the best live show I ever, I ever been to, okay? And it was, it was really that good. Um, so I'm gonna make a, a couple of videos about this. Um, and just letting you know, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please do at Shining Polaris and at TikTok Shining Polaris AEW because I took a lot of really cool videos at my point of view where, where I was sitting and I'm just slowly uh, posting uh, on both on both accounts just in case you you know may have TikTok, may have Twitter, whatever. Um, so for this video, I'm going to kind of go out of order, but I want to talk about FanFest first because um, this is, I believe this is like their first or one of the few like fan fest that they've done and I'm sure a lot of people out there want to know you know what is it what is it about what did it look like so again I, I posted a lot of videos I, I took a lot of videos and, and pictures and I'll probably show some in this video but the majority will will be on um, either TikTok or Twitter so um, yes that, that happened on Saturday and uh, you it's like, yeah, I just think about it like a little mini convention, but there's no like vendors or anything. But uh, so you pay, you pay the ticket price, which is uh, 30 or $35, or whatever gets you, gets you in. And then you can, uh, you know, meet and greet uh, with some of the wrestlers that uh, showed up. Now they had a handful of wrestlers that you had to buy, uh, you know, you pay a, a, a premium fee to meet and greet them. And, uh, that went from about thirty to a hundred dollars, depending on who you're meeting, and that include uh, your photo with them. Uh, this one they did not do like the professional photo ops, like a lot of cons do. You just do it with your phone and a uh, autograph. You know, you can have one autograph item. So I know a lot of people, including my friends, um, they they the big complaint was I guess they didn't advertise that much when those tickets were going to go on sale. Uh, I had it, you know, I had it on my fridge and on my phone, so I knew exactly what it was. But, of course, it sold out before noon. It, it, I think the ticket sales went at, like, 8 in the morning, and then by noon, it was, like, everybody was sold out. So, but I was really glad I was able to get tickets for everybody I wanted to see. So, just going to talk about a little bit about that and then show you some of the stuff that, that I got. Um, so, because because of that, because a lot of, because they sold the Fan Fest tickets first before the meet and greets, so, uh, you know there's a lot of people that did not buy a ticket for the meet and greet, so it was like, what's the point of going to the show? Well, AEW did something cool. They, they had a handful of wrestlers, you know, uh, the, you know the, the green ones that mostly appear on Dark or like lower level roster guys, and they were there for free. So that was very, very cool. You really got to meet like a good handful of wrestlers uh, if you time it out well. Um, of course, it was... Oh, I would love to have met everybody, but yeah, just like any convention, lines were a little long, so you know you just had to wait. And everybody had like their time slot because they only had maybe eight tables, and like every hour would be like a new new person, or every two hours or whatever. So you you couldn't meet everybody, though I really wanted to, and I met and I met uh, quite a few, so I'm very happy about that. So besides doing the meet and greet. Um, now that's what I only did because, like I said, the meet and greet took like the whole time because you had to be in line. But if you didn't, if you weren't into that or you only wanted to see one person, you could still entertain yourself for most of the day uh, by by you know watching the main stage. Oh, by the way, the show went from like twelve to six, so I know that sounded like a long time. It really was not. That time flew by so incredibly fast. But uh, so let's say if you wanted to go in the main stage and watch. They had some cool stuff. The first, the first main stage show was the Critical Botch. Um, you know, you had Brandon Cutler and his pals, which I believe in this episode was uh, Peter Avalon, Leva Bates. I think Paul White was on there, and then of course you have the best friends also playing. So uh, Chuck Taylor, Trent, and Orange Cassidy, they were all playing uh, D and D. So that was really cool. Um, I only came to like take the one picture, uh, but I didn't, I didn't watch that. Um, they had like a toy reveal, the Jazzwear figure reveal, which I did go to that. Um, that was really cool. And um, I think yeah, then they had that was a toy reveal at their booth, but they also had it on their stage, their stage two. Uh, and then they had a couple of like matches that you you can watch with some of the stars. Uh, I, I didn't again, I didn't see that part either. 
And um, the last was, they had like a panel with Kenny Omega, which I ended up uh, seeing the last bit of that. So that was really cool. So you can occupy your time with just watching those things if you didn't want to do the meet and greet. Um, when you go to the, the meet and greet was in like, it was a separate stage area. I forgot the name of it. But uh, you, you go in there and um, you know, the, the table's like all like set up so you can be in line to meet the wrestlers. Um, they also had like uh, the Jazzware booth. Where you could see all the toys that that are coming up that will be released later this year, and then they had kind of like a uh, showcase museum type thing where you can like see the you know like the belts, and then they had a little Brody Lee uh, section there. So that was that was really cool. Um, overall, like that fan fest, like low key, I was so excited. Like I almost was more excited to see that than, than Double or Nothing. Which again, by the time I watched Double or Nothing, that was like that show blow me away. But before that. I was very, very pleased with uh, going to the fan fest because, like I said, you 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 yeah you paid your ticket to meet the guys, then you got your free ones, which was awesome, and then a couple of the wrestlers just kind of like walking around doing their thing, and if you timed it right, you could have you could have got a uh, a picture with them too. So it was it was very cool. So uh, of course, you guys want to see what did I get there? So. Um, so this what this part here I really really like. So every person that you met, whether it's paid or not, you get you get uh, these eight by tens. This is kind of like your ticket, um, and you can get the signed if you don't have anything signed. Of course, I came with my own stuff, so I had other things signed. But I think you could have got this signed too. But because I was chatting and I wanted my like other item signed, I didn't get the signed. So of course, like see you get the young bucks here. And then this I had um, uh, the uh, Bear Bear Boulder and Bear Bronson. This is Red Velvet. The Acclaimed. The match caster, Anthony Bowens. Oops. Orange Cassidy. Which we'll discuss in a second. Look at this all sit down. <laughs> um, Aaron Solo. Hikaru Shida. And then my premium one, uh, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston, which I did have them signed because I didn't have anything for Kingston to sign. But this was still cool. Like, I really like the print. Uh, Will Hobbs. And um, that is it for who I met over there. So, if you want to see the, what, what I got, I got signed. So, I bought four uh, premium tickets. And that is, um, that's with the Young Bucks, uh, John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, Orange Cassidy, and Hikaru Shida. So those are my four paid uh, paid tickets. So if you want to see what I got from them, this was cool. This is what I got John Moxley to sign. Look, look, look at this this beautiful cover. So I bought this Orange Crush magazine, and it has like these really good photos of him. And the cover was so cool, and I'm like, you have to sign this. So And by the way, they were so cool. Like, of course they were. Like, they're the coolest duo out there. So while I was in line... Like, if you were, by the way, this is what I was wearing, um, you know, what I, what I was wearing to the meet and greet. So, like, I saw pictures, I saw people online tweeting, like, if, if you had, you know, anything elite related, especially Young Bucks, like, they would just, like, clown you for it. So it was, it was very funny. Um, when I took my picture with them, I, you know, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just standing like this with their picture. And Eddie, Eddie Kingston was like, no, man, you gotta, you know, you gotta throw the fingers up. If not, we're not doing this photo. So, yeah, you can probably see my, my photo I took with them. So they were just really cool. Um, let's just get this one. And then I had to meet my idol, which was Hikaru Shida. And I was probably the most nervous meeting her because, uh, as you know, I cosplay her. So I already knew coming in that I was going to talk to her about uh, my cosplay, and that's that's what we talked about. The cool thing was when I came up to her booth, she was like like this, and she was like, "It's finally nice to meet you," and I'm like, "Nice to meet me? I, I, I'm finally, you know, m meeting you. Like, what, what in the world?" So it was just a very cool like connection we had. Um, you know, we talked about cosplay a little bit and all that, so hopefully she'll contact me in the future for, you know, whatever I talked about with her. So, uh, But um, in the meantime, I got uh, my belt signed. So I, I showed you before, so I had her sign in the back, because of course I didn't have any more room, But so she signed there. But in the front, uh, if I didn't show in my other video, that's Nyla Rose. And then, of course, the new new champion. Uh, I don't even know. This is not right. I think I did the same. Yeah. Okay. Nala Rose, Britt Baker right here. So I would love to have eventually 
at least all the women champions sign it, and maybe like all the women sign it eventually. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, I did meet my number one bae, Orange Cassidy. So that was very, very cool. I was super nervous because he is my number one bae. Um, I came over, and of course I just I just had the figure signed. Um, I know it's kind of like lame, because that's almost like like a dealer type of thing you want to sign. But um, I, I don't think I posted this publicly, but I... Uh, um, he actually uh, sent me a personalized photo of himself. So I already got that. That's like the coolest thing I can get from him. So I'm like, what else I can get? Just get the figure. Um, so as I was getting the figure sign, came up to him and I said, I am your biggest fan ever and I tweet to you every day. And then he just looked at me and he's like, yeah, I know who you are. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, so he said he said a couple things with that related to the thing I was tweeting him about. And that was just very cool. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say any more on that because it's going to look like, look, make me look like such a stalker. But I love Orange Cassidy. Uh, so that was cool. So I got my figure signed by him. And then my favorite piece was when I went and met the Young Bucks. So yeah, so this is like in all my my phone, my my computer wallpaper. This is like my favorite picture of the whole team. So my friends that were with me and other people that were in line, like I was holding it because I had it in this case and everything. And I was just holding it in line, and as people were like, "That's such a cool picture! Like, what a great print!" I'm like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> so um, uh, Nick and Matt Jackson, they were looking super obnoxious, you know, they were, and you probably saw the picture of them, they're wearing like that Versace jumpsuit, and with their matching, matching Nikes on, and they just, they just look ridiculous, <laughs> but, um, and I think they were trying to like be in heel character the whole time, but I came in, of course, all shy, and I'm like, I'm such a big fan of yours, Young Bucks, and can you please sign my picture, because I, I love this, and when I hang it in my room, so can you, like, write my, you know, write it to me, write a note to me, or whatever, so they did, so it was really cool, so you can't really see it here, but they, like, signed their whole side, um, my plan, the thing was that Kenny Omega was not at this meet and greet, which was, like, disappointing, because I was really hoping he was, uh, eventually I would like to get this signed, um, my plan is to go to Slam Anniversary, so at least I'll get to meet uh, the Good Brothers. Very sure they're doing that, and hopefully, maybe Kenny Omega will be there too. So, this is this is my favorite piece that I got at uh, at the con. Um, let's see, other things I bought, but I paid for these. Um, yeah, so I bought these two posters. They're very expensive. You know, I always as you I don't know if you can see up there, but I have a poster from like each each event, uh, a signed poster. Um, this was their most expensive one till date. Uh, most of them uh, were arranged for a hundred, about a, around a hundred dollars, but this was two hundred because it has everybody sign it. And then I just bought this because I just like, I just like to have them in the middle. And <laughs> and of course I, I want I want all the signed posters. So that was obviously a little bit cheaper. Oh, and I forgot to show this. This was this was actually kind of cool too. I think they just had too many extras. So um, there's two posters in here, but. If you went there early, you could have got a poster um, signed. Um, so I had two of these. So I have one signed by Chuck Taylor, the other by Kip Sabian. But if you uh, went early, because I didn't know this till the end of the day, they had them off to the side. You could have got a poster signed by Miro, but um, I did not know that. So, but at least I got two, and I, you know, I like both wrestlers, so that's cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I got at the meet and greet. Uh, Again, just just super fun. Uh, it was a very hot day. Oh yeah, I just want, I also want to say that it was not outside. I thought it was going to be outside, like in the football stadium or something. It was in that other little, little like training stadium they had that was that was totally air conditioned. So that was that was perfect. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I like the next show is you know it's going to be all out. It's going to be in Chicago. Very sure they're going to do a meet and greet. They did it last time they were there. Um, I. I'm just so excited for that. Like, they're probably going to have, like, everybody there. Like, this time, this was, like, their first time, I guess, doing it since the pandemic. So, maybe they're trying to, you know, make it easy or whatever. I absolutely love this. Um, just want to say that if you plan doing the meet and greet, uh, buy, buy your ticket right away. You know, watch their tweets. I, I will always be tweeting about it, too. So, like, like check it out when those tickets are going to sell. A lot of people miss that. I don't think they advertise that a lot for some reason. Um, and it seemed like a lot of people missed out on that, but yeah, it's, it's just like any other con, 
you, you buy your ticket in to get in the door, and then you have to buy an additional ticket to meet the people. That's just usually how conventions go. So um, I guess that's all I want to say about that. I had a fantastic time. Please, 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 if you hadn't, follow me on Twitter and on uh, TikTok at Shining Polaris, TikTok Shining Polaris AW, because I have a tons of really uh, fun uh, clips and pictures that I would love to share on that that I cannot fit in my videos on YouTube. So, all right, next one, uh, next video, I'm probably going to just talk about my experience at Dynamite and then separate video about Double or Nothing, so stay tuned for that. So, thank you guys for watching.